Huawei CFO Meng Wanzhou arriving at Vancouver International Airport Friday afternoon, back to where this saga began nearly three years ago, when she stepped off her flight from Hong Kong and was subsequently arrested. How has this case affected Canada's relationship with China? Oh, it's been a disaster for the relationship, but there are lots of things that have affected that. It began with Meng's arrest at YVR in December of 2018, just a few months after a New York court issued a warrant for her arrest. Meng would spend nearly three years under house arrest in an upscale home on the west side of Vancouver, spending her time under the watchful eye of her private security and often members of the media. The U.S. charged Meng with fraud over allegations she violated American sanctions against Iran. Both Meng and Huawei denied the allegations. The extradition trial that followed has forever changed Canada's relationship with China. I think what it really did was crystallize the feelings among a lot of the Canadian sort of political class that China wasn't to be trusted. You know, the hostage diplomacy, the um, taking of the two Michaels. That had happened to other Canadians before, but they had been non-white Canadians. They had been people of Chinese descent, sometimes with Chinese citizenship. Who'd you were been... friends with Michael Kovrig, or you are friends with Michael Kovrig. Uh... Yes, yeah, for, uh, for several years. Um, a hugely generous man with his like time, his expertise, his personal kindness. It's been a source of enormous distress to pretty much everybody in the sort of um, China analysis community. Wait, I mean, he hasn't seen his child. I think they were born only a few a few months after his detention. Just an, an enormous uh, enormous strain. Same with uh, Spavro, of course, who I don't know, but um, who was also, also you know, a, a popular figure. Now Meng is free and heading back to China. Well, she should be welcomed as a hero. And there's no, you know, if she if she tears the whole thing up, there might be some financial penalties that. Uh, the U.S. government can impose on Huawei, which is already basically at war with. Um, but there's nothing it can do about her case. At YBR, Ashley Burr, City News.